So hey Jordan, what are we doing here today? Well, I'm being as safe as I can while I play Abaddon, and uh, yeah, this is uh, we're gonna find out how well this goes. Granted, there are other, I mean, again, I'm being as safe as I can, I'm censoring everything I can, and I'm editing everything that I can. So yeah, this will also help me with um, some other Th one other thing that I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm gonna be getting through the edits quick. I'm also not, I'm gonna kind of be speeding through the dialogue, so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sorry if there's any, co sorry if com the fact that there's commentary during the playthrough is, uh, really gonna get to people, but, um, I, I guess I could do a walk, a playthrough without any commentary, but that would be a little bit, uh, a little bit too, um, not to what I want, so, uh, we're gonna find out how well it, this goes. Otherwise, I mean, if nothing else, it's a playthrough, and if it gets taken down, I guess I'll be, I'll be the martyr, martyr, I guess, but, uh, yeah. So, obviously, this video, being as it is, um, assumes that you are over the age to play games of this, uh, genre, I guess. Although I do look at this and look at this more as uh, from a developer standpoint and a gameplay standpoint. So, funny enough, Ab this game does a lot of good things that uh, a lot of games aren't doing nowadays. I And, you know, that comes with the passage of time, you know? Like, you know, it takes time to make good games. Surprise, surprise. But, uh, you know what? I just I'll just take it as it is. I, I, I bought it. Uh, it translated, uh, translated into English after seven plus years, so probably more, again, I always throw out the number seven plus years, but who knows how long the game was being developed before it was released, so you know what? Uh, yeah, also you notice I'm kind of going on autopilot a little bit, so, uh, because I've played this game a whole bunch of times. There's also been speedruns, and there's also been, I'm not gonna say, like, you know, it's not negative, but, you know, there are people who also play this game on, you know, when it's on YouTube as well, so, uh, but I'm gonna be a bit safer with it, you know, so I've, I've done my own, I'll do my own editing and, uh, censorship, so, uh, yeah, when, especially when, uh, there are only really two moments, or really one moment, where the game needs to be, uh, if, well, if you're making a video where it need to be cut, if you're streaming this game, then you need to put to a, go to a black screen. Uh, thankfully, there's no real uh, sound effects that you need to censor, so that you can you you can be safe on. But uh, graphics, on the other hand, is a completely different thing. So, speaking of Abaddon and how it's designed and the gameplay, it is a it is a more a throwback. It's you know it's not always just explicit. Uh, it was more I think first. If nothing else, it was a, not a parody, well, what would you say? A love letter to Lovecraftian things. Obviously, if you look into the plot of the game, even without any spoilers, uh, if you look into, like, the synopsis and whatnot, you'll kind of notice, you know, even just the mention of the Necronomicon is more of a uh, Lovecraftian uh, love letter. Again, I, I don't know what else to say right now. Uh, I'll think of the word, but uh, along with being, you know, Obviously, a lot of people draw similarities between this and Sweet Home, uh, which is a, its own game in its own right, but Sweet Home was never translated, I mean, officially and sold to uh, outside of uh, Japan. Uh, and if it was, I mean, again, it, it wasn't officially translated, and it is translated to some degree. And if you really want to play Sweet Home and understand it, there are ways to do so, uh, whether that's be learning Japanese or having, you know, translations from, you know, outside sources through the internet, trying to understand the story, you know, synopsis of that sort, but really something made available, uh, not really. So, yeah, and I'm also working with a clean save here, so, uh, even, even so I'm on autopilot because, uh, not, I haven't really done Yamanobi's prologue chapter, usually I just skip it for obvious reasons, uh, there's no real effect, again, since I'm going through mainly gameplay, uh, just do note that I may be, you know, I'm not the type of person who plays things unless a game first comes out, obviously, but if it's a game that's been out even for like a week or a month, anything longer than that, I'll usually look it up and, you know, try to familiarize with myself with it. So, uh, yeah, don't be, 
Please, again, if you're watching this video or planning to watch this playthrough, keep that in mind. If you know the type of uh, player that I am, then uh, you kind of already know that by watching my other videos, but, you know, uh, yeah, that's gonna be how it is. But as on the topic of Abaddon and Sweet Home, Abaddon, you know what, actually could be a non-R18 uh, rated game. It just chooses not to be, uh, <laughs> because the, uh, the developer, you know, wants to make the games that they want to make, and so you know what, all the power to them. But uh, I... It, it could be, you know, if you just literally actually just removing, because obviously, like I said, there's only one scene that in this uh, playthrough that I'm going to need to cut. Uh, but uh, without it, like if I were able to, you know, if I had the decision choice and the ability to uh, cut things out, I would have. But uh, and just, you, you know, yeah, but uh, and by that, I mean, you know, they're explicit. There are explicit parts of the game that, you know, that's part of the draw, but if you remove the explicit parts, you still have a story. Basically, you still have a story that would be uh, respectable, and on that note, wouldn't really uh, cause issues uh, releasing the game, you know, for a more, still probably for mature audience, but, uh, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as troublesome to try and play. You know, you would see more people playing it, uh, you would see more content on it, I guess, but, you know, like I said, if nothing else, uh, I'm playing it right here, and until, you know, until we get to more... I mean, obviously, there are, there are a lot of people who've played this game. This game is, uh, is, uh, not, I don't want to say a sleeper hit, but it is, uh, quite, uh, quite known, I guess, we'll just say. Uh, but it's not, obviously, it's not mainstream or anything, but, I mean, that can be, uh, taken in many different ways. You, I've, obviously, some people might argue... And on the topic of uh, developer, the developer of this game, I guess I won't say just just again. I'm being really, really safe. But uh, the developer is also released just released as of the time of this recording uh, the trial for their new game, Gakko Abaddon or School Abaddon, which doesn't require Abaddon to be played. So if nothing else, apparently that game is not going to be um, not going to be as explicit. I guess I'll just say uh, with its content. So again, it, you won't need. Uh, you won't need Abaddon. You won't need to have played this game to uh, to have uh, to enjoy School Abaddon. I, apparently, from what I hear. Uh, so yeah. Again, I'll I'll str I'll see if I can get into it, but uh, I'm I'm guessing it might help. The developer on their page said that it was a uh, it was a sequel, but in parentheses they put spinoff in the <laughs> in their uh, summary. So. It is what it is, I guess. But if it is if it is going to be not as explicit, then uh, you know all the power to it. It's going to reach more people because you know it's it'll be it'll be better to play, I guess. Uh, it'll be uh, more likely to be played without having to worry about um, it not being taken down, among other things. Especially if you're streaming it. Obviously, there are other issues. If you're not, if you're recording and making videos like I'm doing right now, uh, yeah, the self censorship, you know, being edited. But again, I'm in it more for the story and the gameplay. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Not just uh, obviously as a developer, I'm interested in how the game is designed as well. But the story in its own right, you know, there are gaps and holes here and there that people and and I have shared that are not uh, I'm not not too happy with, but. Again, you'll see as I keep playing through. So, on that note, this does give me ideas as we move away from, you know, talking about the game. I'm sure it's going to be, uh, I'm going to reach a certain point where I stop, but, uh, you know what? I, it gives, it does give me ideas as a developer myself. I'm not, you know, I'm not anything too fantastic, but, uh, yeah. Again, this is this the reason why I started this is partly because uh I was um the idea was brought to me by uh someone's comment that wanted to explain the lore, but I chose not to uh really uh pursue that until I did another playthrough of the game. That way I at least I can freshen up on the plot, but not uh but at the same time also, you know, get a playthrough of the game. If nothing else, but we'll see how it goes. Because I am uh, it's gonna be a new experience for me too, because I think this is really the first playthrough with commentary I've ever done. So that's gonna be uh, 
that's going to be quite interesting, I guess. And we'll see how well I can do with it. Otherwise, it's going to be really a uh, oof for me. Among other things. Do I don't think I can... Yeah, because you need the... You would need the small key, quote-unquote. That said, we go in here, because that's all we can really do. But... Uh, I think we need Shima for this, eventually. So, yeah. Again, Yamanobi's chapter is... It is a tutorial for the game, but... I've seen people get lost here immediately. Mainly this wall is the main offender. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know, I mean, again, it's it was only it was made around 2010, but still, it, it's old enough for it in in terms of design for it to be, you know, it's really uh, not clear in, as to what you're supposed to do. And I I don't really mind that. It's just uh, it's on it's more towards the extreme of not knowing what to do. So. Uh, I think I need a hammer here, right? No, I probably wasn't paying attention. Oh wait, that's right. I need to get. Well, I also need to get the shield, but we need to go upstairs to know either know that we have to to need to get the shield or get the shield and then do this part. Oh my goodness, I was looking right at it. <laughs> Again, you wouldn't really know. I mean, I guess it's shining and standing there, and the, the game expects you to be curious and just inspect everything. But also, oh, why am I going there? But again. A testament to uh, more old games design, or you know, this is technically an indie game because it was made by a developer and other people who helped with the project, obviously. But uh, it was there wasn't a large amount of well, maybe there was, but I I wouldn't know. But uh, yeah, it, it's an old game uh, if we're looking at contemporary games. So we're not in the era of you know games always telling you what you're to do uh, on average. So. You know what? We'll take it where it is. Also, we're about to... Well, we're gonna be in for a treat. Uh, I do advise you to get the game yourself, obviously, if you are able to buy the game uh, legally and whatnot. Uh, you are able to buy the game legally, but what I mean by that is you're the appropriate age range and all that jazz uh, to experience things for yourself, because I will be definitely be uh, skipping certain things. So, yeah. Um, mainly when I get to the East Wing when I do a second playthrough, but when we're on the first playthrough, you'll notice that I'm going to... Also, Abaddon, again, one of its one of its uh, good points, in my opinion, is... Uh, oops. Uh, no, we're going the other way? No, we're supposed to go the other way, I think. Actually, I should... Well, no, it's too late now. I have everything set up. I was thinking of, I'm looking, I was looking at OBS and uh, thinking about my recording, but otherwise... Um, but yeah, back on Abaddon... One of the things it does really well is it branches off in a lot of areas. You know, it ultimately, if we're looking at whether it affects the ending or not, well, it, it actually does. But um, in terms of the way it can branch and how many branches there are in the middle, there's a lot that the game accounts for. Like, you're, you're not often to be bugged out in uh, areas depending on uh, whether certain things happen or you do certain things, I guess, without spoiling much. But uh, it does account for that, and it adjusts itself accordingly. That even that, as a developer myself, again, uh, that in that in itself takes a lot of time to do because you have to make sure that every branch works from a technical standpoint on the design on developing the plot and the story. There's a lot you need to write as well because you have to write all the dialogue uh, for when you know when you're trying to account for certain things. You have to you know make the maps depending on what you're doing, especially in one certain. Uh, one certain set piece where you're it's basically a big waste of time but the developer didn't need to do that they could have just added an in, it could have just been a simple interaction and you move on with the game but instead when you interact with a certain thing you get sent on a, a pretty much like five to ten minute depending on how fast you read probably longer depending if, if you stop to read a uh, little uh, little uh, sidetrack I guess and you didn't need to be uh, you didn't need to do that developer didn't need to do that but they took the time to make the maps make sure all the map you couldn't bug yourself out write all the dialogue make sure they tested it because there are play testers for this game all of that jazz uh, making sure that it worked so uh, yeah also I think I just keep moving until I uh, things happen uh, so well I was gonna talk about the story but I, I'll talk about it when we as we find more lore-related things uh, in the main story. But for the most part, uh, basically, Yamanobe, if you didn't catch it, and I'll, you know, if you want me to get you uh, 
right back to speed. Yamanobe ha- inherited or was allowed permission. Basically, um, he had a friend that um, was the owner of this mansion and now is searching through this mansion because, well, we're we're under the assumption that his profession is an archaeologist, and so he's just interested in the mansion for archaeologist region, reasons. And so he's taken his two uh, protégés slash students slash uh, interns, whatever you want to call them, helping to help him out do so. And uh, yeah, we're, the weird things are happening, so... <laughs> Again, uh, if nothing else, you know, even if the developer did or did not say it, there's a lot you can see in the similarities between this and Sweet Home. But I think there was a moment in which the developer said that they didn't want, you know, they didn't, it didn't want to make, make this game a clone of Sweet Home. Instead, again, like I said, it was more a shout out to Lovecraftian, uh, where am I going actually? Main Hall or Darkness? We're going to find out. But yeah, it was more... Um, it was more of an homage, I guess, is uh, to um, an homage to Lovecraftian slash uh, Cthulhu. That's right, the, the word Cthulhu in things, which I guess is more of the same type, if not the same thing. Again, I don't really know. Someone correct me. But if you know about if you know about that that kind of lore, then Abaddon will uh, make you make you think about. Uh, you know, help you draw similarities much easier and understand the plot of Abaddon a lot easier. So, or a lot better. So let's go check out next door, Shima. What are you afraid of? All oh, the abyss! Again, weird things are happening. The gates of hell have opened. So again, weird things are happening in this mansion. I'll go into it more, especially on things that I was... Help, at least to help me brainstorm for the lore video, but uh, yeah, this it does help out to look at the tutorial because you need everything. Uh, you need I all the context does help if we are to believe the translation. That's not to say the translation is you know bad or good. I'm just saying you know some things might be lost in translation. That's just a normal part of translating anything really. But from Japanese to English, uh, there are things that can be less. I'm sure the translators just did their best and are did very well. Uh, otherwise, we would not have Abaddon at all. But in turn, but if we're looking at it objectively, um, we also we still have to consider that you know some things might have been lost in translation. So first aid kit, please. That's right. So this is, uh, we're nearing the end of the tutorial here, and that might even be the end of the first part, depending. Um, yeah, and I was going to say something else, but I think I'm going to avoid saying it. So now that we have Shima, we're going to go push open this bus bookcase, because now we have the strength of three people. Ugh. So we have to go from the other side then. That's another thing. Again... All of this stuff isn't really obvious. You know, you might have an idea of where to go, but sometimes things that like that happen, and it does happen again in the main story. Uh, story, but um, yeah, I know I can understand how that might frustrate players. So you know, gentle nudges, but not a push towards the directions that uh, you know uh, that to kind of insult the player's intelligence. But uh, at the same time, I don't know as a developer. I think it's, I don't, it's not like I don't want to, pe it's not like I want to leave people in the dark, but again, I don't want to insult their intelligence either, at least in terms of the game that I develop. Um, they're, mar well, obviously, usually should have a target audience in mind, trying to please everyone is, uh, I mean, I don't doubt that's, Im that's, uh, I don't doubt that that's not impossible. I hope I'm saying th those words right. Oof, my words are really bad, but, uh, I do usually gear to gear uh, if I whenever I do anything I try to consider people you know and try to help them think about things themselves so that I don't try to spoon feed people in anything and that leaks into my game development as well but uh, I understand that uh, not enough hints or you know some guidance is needed as uh, if we're talking in terms of making a video game you know whether that's a quest system whether it's an NPC saying that you have to do this whether it's constant reminders reminders every time or occasional reminders every uh, time you move between rooms to say you know this is what we're doing and this is what you need to do player even though you know it's not really 
you're not actually asking the player to do anything. So, so as you've noticed, uh, or I've been skipping through, uh, weird things are happening to the characters. We're assuming Shima's gone crazy, but Shima's here saying that, hey, we're going crazy. So, and now he's acting kind of strange, and Yamanobe and uh, Kanada are kind of thinking, you know, maybe we should back off. Maybe we should, you know, try to keep calm, but... Uh, Weird things keep happening, and soon everyone's starting to uh, freak out a bit more. But we're in the decay now. So Shima runs off. We're trying to stay together and try to stay calm, but uh, yeah, that's obviously not happening. And now we're, we're going to find that we're in a place we don't want to be in. <laughs> also, on that note, I'm pretty sure if these are somehow, well, at the very bare minimum, uh, modified resources of uh, of some, uh, again, as a, if the developer found these resources somewhere but modified them for Abaddon, even then that's kind of, uh, that's really, uh, that is really something to be, you know, to commend them on. You know, mod even modifying resources if it takes like an hour, three hours, when you do that for every little thing that you want to do, it's uh, it does add up over time and can result in you know how one man indie, one man indie developers or even small teams, you know, it takes over a year or years for them to complete a game. So uh, oof. Are you there, Shima? That's not Shima. Uh, you know what? I Maybe I should edit that out. Along with getting a lot of mileage out of that male scream and the female scream. So now we're officially in the main game.